The Easy Testimonials WordPress plugin allows you to display testimonials on your website. With more than 30,000 active installations, this is one of the most used plugins in this category. But before I begin, it is important to mention that for the past two and a half years, the plugin has been getting only one-star reviews from users of the Pro version. People complain about the lack of communication, support and refunds. The plugin can be installed from the WordPress dashboard. Search for Easy Testimonials. When you activate the plugin for the first time, you will see a welcome page with some help links and an ad for the Pro version of the plugin. You will also see a new Easy Testimonials section in the dashboard. Let's start with the settings pages, and there are many of them. Most of the default values are fine, but you might want to change some options in the display and themes pages. The free version of a plugin doesn't include a form to collect testimonials, it can only display them. So you will have to manually add testimonials that you collect elsewhere. The plugin includes free sample testimonials. Let's create another one. The rating field accepts a rating from 1 to 5, but it doesn't stop you from entering a number using the keyboard. You can even enter some outrageous number and the plugin will display these many stars. An easy way to crash the server, so please don't do that. To display all testimonials, create a new page. Add a new block and search for testimonials. Let's display a list. The blocks options are available on the right. You can filter the testimonials by category, you can change the theme, select which fields to display and select if you want to display ratings. It is also possible to display testimonials as a grid. Unfortunately, this block doesn't work right, as it doesn't save any of my options. And there is a block for displaying testimonials as a slideshow. There is yet another bug with the default values. If you want to display pagination and previous and next buttons, then you will have to uncheck them, save the page and then check them back again. Another problem with this plugin is that it loads its CSS and JavaScript assets on all pages of a website, even when they are not needed. That is, 6 CSS and 2 JavaScript files. Taking in consideration this plugin's features, bugs and questionable reputation, I don't see a lot of reasons to use this plugin. Thank you for watching.